I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. And we've got extremely cold weather for today's game between the Boise State Broncos and the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. One of my favorite times in all of sports, the College Bowl season. I can't wait for this one to kick off. And here come the Yellow Jackets. The Broncos are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kirk. Boise State has one of the better running attacks in college football and a very good running back. Lee, this will be a great opportunity here for fans to get a chance to see him run the football and lead his team to a victory. I like it, Kirk. That's an excellent pick. I'm taking Boise State. Boise State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Kicks it off. Number 89, fields at the goal line. Down there on the field at linebacker, we've got one special player. He's the heart and soul of this defense, and they're going to need him today more than ever as they go up against a very talented running back. If there's anyone who can bring the wood to this running back, then it's got to be this linebacker. That's right, he's a tough one. There should be some really good collisions in this game. First and 10, ball on their own 41. Throw on first down. He passes it. Complete. Knocked out of bounds. That reception good for seven yards. Second and three coming up. Ball right around midfield. Setting up the play action. Throws this one out to the left, and down he goes. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and 10, ball on the 40. Three wide outs here. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Over the middle. It's deflected. There's an athletic play by the linebacker. Listen up, my friend. Nowadays, linebackers need to be able to do more than just stop the run. They got to be able to fly all around the field and play the pass, too. So it's second and 10. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. They line up in an eye. On the ground with the tailback. Here's an opening. And he's taken down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. It's first and 10, ball in the 23. They'll work from the shotgun. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Hot. Drops back to pass. He's rolling right. He'll do this one off. And they make the stop. They got four yards on that one. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 19-yard line. The Yellow Jackets line up in an eye formation. Back to pass. Throw. 
It falls incomplete. Couldn't complete that one to his halfback. He just needed a little less air under it. It's third down and six to go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The Yellow Jackets set up in the gun. He drops back. He takes off. And down he goes. What an outstanding third down conversion. Yeah, and he showed pretty good quickness there, picking up a nice game. Good quickness and very good decision making. Not a whole lot going on as far as throwing the ball there. He makes a wonderful decision, bringing it down and making a big play. Georgia Tech comes out with an eye formation. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. That was a fantastic touchdown run by the halfback. This guy looks very impressive. When he has the ball in his hands, good things always seem to happen. hits the PAT. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Number 37, back to return. Kicks it deep. Number 37 fields it in the end zone. Makes a move. And we got an injured player on the field. The 20. Take over at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Yeah. Boise State comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Throws. And it's caught. And he's taken down. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 22. The Broncos come out in the ace formation. Tackle. No gain. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 22 yard line. They come out in a nickel. And he's going to lose yards on this one. They look to be outmanned on that series, guys. Not even one first down. That's not what the offensive coordinator had in mind. Yeah, but I can't argue his play calling. They just didn't execute. the punt. He gets Number it off. Nine, to return. Number nine takes it at the 43. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll get the ball here at the 45. At the 45-yard line. First and 10. Georgia Tech comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. 
He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly. Pull back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45. The Yellow Jackets line up with three wide. Drops back to pass. Looks. He's going right. Got it to him on the run. Brought down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Georgia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Look at that. The Blitz just threw off their blocking assignments, and that's why this running back is looking for his mouthpiece right now. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Georgia Tech comes to the line with three wide. Steps up in the pocket. He decides to run with it. Lost the ball. Fumble. They'll bring him down. Are they lucky or what? The quarterback very fortunate that one of his guys recovered the football. Yeah, he's got to be more careful out there. Either tuck that thing away or just get down before contact. I don't care what he does. Just don't fumble. That's all. Do whatever you have to do to protect that football. They line up in the jumbo set. Cut it. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. They put everyone up on the line. They'll give it off here. Tries to shoot. Missed tackle. He breaks the second tackle. Got an opening. The five. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. And that's his second rushing touchdown of the first half. And the head coach has to love the way this kid is running the football. And he tacks on the extra point. So down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score, Georgia Tech 14, Boise State nothing. Georgia Tech lines up for the kickoff. Number 37, back deep to return. We should have a return on this one. Number 23 has it at the five. He jukes. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping on the receiving team. Half the distance from the spot of the foul. That one will put down. the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. They'll First set up ten. shot at the 10. On the ten yard line. Boise State sets up in the eye. Inside gives. A little juke. Oh, what a move. 
And they make the stop. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score, Georgia Tech 14, Boise State nothing. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 13. Pitch is right. And he stopped behind the line. Loss of three. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 10. The Bronco come out in a shotgun, back to pass, steps up, looking, long ball, right side, it's deflected, oh, he had a shot at the pick, almost a turnover. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops we like to see. They line up to punt this one away. Number 19 gets it off. Number 9 fields it at the 48. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Excellent field position to start the drive. The Yellow Jackets come out showing three wide. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. He wants it all going long. Incomplete pass. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. Second and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. He steps up, looks, going deep. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Number 21, the intended receiver on the play. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 48. Georgia Tech comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Little shake and bake move. He decides to run with it. He can shoot. Tackle. How about that conversion? Let me tell you something. That defense got to be a little discouraged after that play. No question. You can see the guys are hanging their heads a little bit going back to the huddle after giving up a big play to the quarterback. First and 10. Ball on the 31. Here's a pitch left side. Brought down. They keep it on the ground, and the halfback gets about seven yards. Second and three coming up. This is the fifth play of this drive. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Wants to throw outside. Finds his receiver. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Right. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone when performance matters the most. It's power football time, folks. He drops back, throws. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Nice toss to the tight end to cap off the drive. He looked for him because he knew, based on the defensive set, that he'd have a good shot at completing that for a score.
hits the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac Drive Summary. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He hits a booming kick. Number 23 fields it in the end zone. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession, going three and out. They'll take over at the 27-yard line. First and 10. On the ground with the tailback. There he goes. Sheds that one. And he's tackled. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First it's first and ten. And ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Number five comes to the line with three wide. Throws. Has it to the senior. A pickup of about three. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 43. Number 17. Wants the ball. We'll see if they give it to him. Play action. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. He's going to go for the home run. And he can't hang on to it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Third down and seven. Ball on the 43. High formation here. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Across the middle. And it's incomplete. He let his half back too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. Fourth and seven. Ball on the 43-yard line. They line up to punt this one away. Number nine, back to return. He punts it. Number nine, fields it at the 19, sheds a tackler. At the 40. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. It's first and 10, ball right around midfield. the ball. No, they faked it. Going deep on the left side. It falls incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 49. The Yellow Jackets set up in the gun. He drops back. Looks. He's going right. He's got the fullback. And he's shoved out of bounds. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed. The result is a first down. The Yellow Jackets go with the I formation. Go with the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Georgia Tech takes a timeout. About two minutes before halftime. Ball on the 41-yard line. 
the Yellow Jackets. Line up in an I formation. Brought down. Two-yard carry by the fullback. It's third down and nine to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Georgia Tech comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Looking, throws it out there. He's got it on the run. Georgia Tech holds a timeout. Pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Takes off a tackle, and he's taken down, and the fullback busts through for about seven yards. See if they can take this one in for six. Dupu, tackle. And they pick up two yards. Right. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. They'll run the option. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Another score. Touchdowns have just become a habit for this team. Well, the defense better find a way to break that habit because there's still a lot of football left to be played. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Georgia Tech Georgia to kick. Tech is lined up with a kickoff. Number 23, back deep. Kicks it off. Number 37 fields it in the end zone. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. 15 yards from the spot of the foul. The officials got that First right. Down. 15 yards for a face mask. Sometimes it's unintentional when you get a handful of face masks. You gotta drop your hand real quickly or they'll give you a personal foul every time. Number five lines up with five wide out. Back to pass. He'll dump this one off. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. Boise State takes a timeout. It's second down and four to go. Ball on their own 40. Drops back to pass. He steps up. Look out. It's reflected. And they bring him down. Boise State calls a timeout. <laughs> First.
First and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. Boise State sets up in the eye. They go with a pitch to the right. Spins up field. And he's stopped behind the line. So the toss play to the tailback goes nowhere. The Bronco come out of the ace formation. They go with a toss. And they hit him in the backfield. They sent the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. The Bronco come out in a two tight end set. They are going to pitch it. And he's tackled. The defense puts a thunderous halt to that rushing attempt. And they'll also put an end to the drive. Well, I tell you what, these young men are playing as a team, and that's very, very impressive. on the field goal unit here. He gets it up. And it's through the uprights. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number 89. Kicks it off. Number 89 fields it at the three. He jukes him. After one half of play, this one is not even close. Our Georgia score, Tech. Georgia Tech, 28, Boise, Boise State, State, 3. Georgia Tech got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. He kicks it. Number 37 fields it at the two. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 26. On the 26-yard line. Number five is back in the gun. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. The ball is tipped. That close to being intercepted. Everyone had a shot at catching that pass. Especially the guys on defense. There was no one open, and he threw it in there anyway. Second and ten. Ball on the 26. 26-yard line. On the ground, up the middle. What a collision. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. It's third down and seven to go. Ball of the 29. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. It's dropped. The tailback dropped that ball. Yeah, his technique was all off. He's got to do a better job next time. State ready to punt this one away. He gets it off. Nine, back 
Number nine calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 33-yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 33. yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Hut, hut, hut. They'll throw on first down, and he can't make the catch. The this incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Second and 10. Ball on their own 33. yard line. And the man at wideout is in a zone right now. Hut. Hut. On the ground with the tailback. Got an opening. Makes a move, and he's taken down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job of reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. Hey. It's first and 10. Ball right around midfield. Number one comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. He's got it. Brought down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Georgia Tech lines up with three receivers. He drops back. He steps up. And he's going to come up with a sack. And the defensive lineman comes up with a big sack. That's a great individual effort right there. But I'll tell you what. The reason that play was successful was because they came with the blitz on that play. You're right. They sent one more guy than they had blockers for. Second and long, ball on the 42. Ball on the 42 yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Throw short. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Passing situation here on third and long. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Number one is back in the gun. Hut, hut. Hut, hut. Hut. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. And he's going to be sacked. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now, coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to sneak in a screen pass at a halfback. Let him get behind the rest and then take off behind his blockers for six. Fourth and long. Ball on the 49-yard line. They line up to punt this one away. Number 86 boots it way up there. Number 27 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 15-yard line. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shop at the 15. High formation here. Hut. Hut, hut. 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 Big opening. And he's tackled. A big gain for the halfback. You know, when we talked to the coach yesterday, he said they were going to run it over, up, and around this defense. Well, here they got a nice gain on the old toss play. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Number 17 is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Comes across the middle. Found his man. Here he goes. Inside the 30. Goodbye. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. 
What an impressive call. I could hear the defense yelling run all the way up here. Boy, did they fall for that one or what? And he tacks on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Boise State lines up for the kickoff. Number two, back deep to return. And they'll be returning this one. Number two takes it at the four. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. You know, they had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. The 23-yard line. First and ten. Number one, lines up in the shotgun. Hut! 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 They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the left. And he can't hang on to it. Now, Coach, I know that pass was a bullet, but you still have to look it in and catch it. He tried to catch it. It just bounced right off his hands. Maybe they ought to get him practicing with one of those jug machines in practice. That'll at least get him used to catching bullet passes. Georgia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. Hut! He drops back. Across the middle. Incomplete. He had to get rid of that one in a hurry. The defensive coordinator cooked up a good blitz package that time, and although it didn't result in a sack, it forced a bad throw. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number one comes to the line with three wide. Across the middle. In and out of his hand. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going, and it's safe to say that's the case as he had zero completions. and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. They line up to punt this one away. Number 83. Number 86 gets it off. He dropped it. He just couldn't pull that one in cleanly. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. First and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. Little handoff. And down he goes. They get a good seven yards on that one. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Yellow Jackets line up in an I formation. Nice play fake. Over the middle. Oh, great catch. And they make the stop. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They come out in a nickel. They'll keep it on the ground again. He's hit and got away. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. He scurried through the defense that time and found the end zone.
and he hits the PAT. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number 37, back deep to return. Here's the kick. Number 23, fields it in the end zone. What to look for on this drive is to see how often the defense changes up its coverages. They didn't defend the pass very well that last drive, so it's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. High formation here. They go with a toss. Trick play might not work. Wants to throw outside. Well, the players love to run these types of plays because it's out of the ordinary of what they usually do on offense. So when they finally call the play, you have to execute it because you don't get many chances to do it again. And I think they have the wrong guy throwing the football. But I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. Two tight end set. They'll give it off here. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Third and 11, ball on the 19-yard line. The Bronco set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. Steps up under heavy pressure. There's a missed tackle. And he's going to come up with a sack. So one of the veterans on this defense gets in there for the sack. They've got to do a better job of protecting their quarterback. Yeah, he can't afford to take too many more hits like that. State, ready to put this one away. Number nine, back deep to return. Number 19, punts it, and it's a good one. And there's a fumble. Number 23 with a recovery. It's first and 10, ball on the 43. Boise State comes out with two tight ends. They'll give it off here. Gets past the tackler. The 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. The halfback got the call and was able to carry it to Pater. Yeah, looking smooth out there. He's one of those guys they can count on for big plays. And he tacks on the extra point. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter. And our score, Georgia Tech 35, Boise State 17. Boise State ready to kick this one off. Number two, back deep to return. And they'll be returning this one. Number two, fields it at the two. 
Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They'll get the ball here at the 21. Take over at the 21-yard line. First and 10. Georgia Tech lines up with three receivers. And they hit him in the backfield. The quarterback draw not successful there. Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. This defense was not fooled at all on that play. Second it's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 20. They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. Down the middle. Got it. At the 40. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Goodbye. The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very well. He hits the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number 37, back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 37 fields it at the three. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll take over at the 19-yard line. They'll bring him down. A couple of yards there. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 21. The Broncos come out showing three wide. There's a play fake. Comes across the middle. It falls incomplete. Pass. Number 11, the intended receiver on the play. Third and eight. Ball on their own 21. Boise State comes out with two tight ends. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Across the middle. Almost picked off. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. They line up to punt this one away. Number 19 gets it off. Number nine fields it at the 41. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll go to work at the 42-yard line. Hey! 
One man backfield. Nice play fake. He's going right, and he's tackled. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Georgia Tech comes to the line with three wide. And the snap goes to the back. He's hit and got away. He spins, and down he goes. No gain. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 38. The Yellow Jackets come out in a shotgun. Tackle. He picks up a yard on the play. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Nickel defense. Hut. 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 He drops back. And now he's got room to run. Brought down. He got three yards there on the scramble. Fourth and six. Ball on the 34-yard line. They'll line up for the kick, and this is going to be extremely long. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And it's right down the middle. That score leads us to our Pontiac Drive Summary. Georgia Tech lines up for the kickoff. Number 37, back to return. Kicks it deep. Number 23 fields it in the end zone. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. Right. They'll set up shop at the 20. First and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Yeah. Number five is back in the gun. Hut. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. It's tipped. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Inside give, tries to juke. He's on the run. At the 40, across midfield. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Goodbye. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. What an amazing run. How about the fact that not one player on the entire defense even touched it? Kirk, you've got 11 guys on the field, and he just blew by all of them.
and he tacks on the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Number 42 needs a good bounce for a possible recovery here. With the onside kick. They don't get the onside, and that should be enough to seal the deal. That's right. Seal it up, sweetheart. This one is over. They'll start this drive at the 50. At the 50 yard line. First and 10. They're lining up in the 5-2. On the ground with the tailback. And he's going to lose yards on this one. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Second, Second and 11. Ball right around Ball midfield. And this impact linebacker is fired up down Hut. there. Hut. 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 The counter. Spin move. And they make the stop. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. It's first and 10, ball on the 40. Georgia Tech comes out in the shotgun. They'll drop him for a loss. So this time, the counter will lose yardage. Second down and 12. Ball on the 42. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. Oh, hand off. They'll bring him down. They'll get nine yards on the play. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 33-yard line. There's the final gun, and this game is history. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams, but I was really impressed the way this game was won. Georgia Tech came out here very focused, and they took care of business. Nice, nice win for this football team. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2006. Our final score, Georgia Tech 45, Boise State 24. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet signing off. So long, everybody.